They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good. Go ahead. All right. You want to listen to our audio on Tuesdays and Thursdays? We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to look at our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on youtube one word tabletop topics we also have our triple t's clips channel and our tiktok channel so if you see anything that you like click on the link it'll take you to the full podcast episode on our youtube channel and you can and uh, of course we have timestamps, so that'll also help you navigate throughout what you're looking for on the specific clips that we put on there uh, don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and of course leave us a comment on anything that you want to uh, discuss or want us to talk about um but jeff Yes, let's, jump, let's jump right into it, man. What's going on? I see you're uh, chuckling like it's uh, like you're a hyena from the Lion I'm King. Chuckling? I thought hyenas cackles, sir. Hey, hey. I love <laughs> <they. laughs> <laughs> again, that, that isn't a cackle. It could be a cackle. Cackle, cackle. Oh, man. What's so, up, man? What's new? Um, So I learned a lot about uh, trains. Trains, planes, trains. and everything. Oh, dude, you remember those, man? Lots and lots of planes. Lots and lots, lots of, of trains. trains. Yeah. That's crazy. That was a good elementary book. Was that a book? No, that was one of those uh nursery rhymes. No. No, 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 no. Remember those infomercials that would like drop like d- mid Saturday morning cartoons? Yes. And it would be like call this number and you can order like zoo books. Ah, uh, okay. Or like yeah, like those them things or flome or some shit like that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh man. What are you doing, bro? Nothing. But yeah, so trains. And speaking of trains, I kinda went down the rabbit hole of uh you know, high speed rail and stuff. Yeah. And that kinda brought me to the whole bright line. Well, I know I knew we had trains in Florida. Um, most of them are inactive, but I didn't know that Bright Line was a thing, which you made prominently known when I was watching it. For the past four years. For the past four <laughs> years that I did not pay attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Because, uh, you know, I was hey, in it's a reoccurring dire thing. situation, so I wasn't mm-hmm. paying attention to anything. I was, like, disconnected from society itself. You know, I just recently got back into it last year, so. I feel that word. But, um, yeah, man, uh, would you like to, uh, yeah, man, so they have, uh, they have stations in Boca, um, they have stations in Fort Lauderdale, and then I forgot the third one, it's that really nice area, um, but, uh, yeah, so pretty much it runs along the East Corridor, so 95, um, and they just recently finished the, the, connection to orlando so now it goes from orlando international airport to down that corridor and mm-hmm. down to uh uh miami palm beach you know boca raton and yeah all that. so that's pretty cool but of course they have a bigger vision of high speed railing all of florida which i think is pretty nice because i think florida is the best state like, has the highest potential to be, like, a true megalopolis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we kind of got a sneak peek of, you know, what it's like riding on, uh, taking, using that service, that rail service. Yeah. Um, where it's like people, even now, they're going to work, you know, they just hop on the train. And that's amazing, too, right. because what's the top speed, 170 miles? Uh, right now, it's only limited to, like, 125, but that's on, like... The inter, uh, city, travel, but not the, but not like, not intercity. Inner city, it cap, it maxes out at, uh, 80, 80, 80 miles 80. per hour, mm-hmm. which isn't bad at all. That's like unimpeded, you know, movement, for 
the duration. No, that's still good because if you think about it too, like even if you can go 80 on the highway, there's always traffic jams, mm -hmm. accidents, all that stuff like that. That's just a straight shot. So it's a constant speed. So the time that it says that you're going to get there, you're actually going to get there. And it changes the economy of the state like it, completely. Yeah, that too. It gets less people off the highways and roads and more people on the transit um, a part of it. And I, I like it too because we were also talking about how let's say somebody lives in South Florida or right. or Boca Raton and they work in Orlando, mm -hmm. instead of having to pack up their entire bags and move to that area. Freedom they, of move, right. Exactly. Right. They can still live in the area that they love if they right. choose to live there mm -hmm. and then still travel to... It's like living in the suburbs of New York and then working in Manhattan. Downtown. Or living in New Jersey and taking the train right. to, to New York City. Or to D.C. Yeah, exactly. Or something like that. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just kind of opens that. And, and I think Florida is such a prime candidate because we kind of went away from what built Florida, and that was trains. Yeah. You see the evidence of that everywhere. That's how we got through the swamps. That's how we got to Key West. You know what I'm saying? It was trains. Mm -hmm. You know, so to move away from that in, in terms of you know, reshaping the landscape just to build highways yeah. when it's easier to fit hundreds of people and in, in uh, 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 move millions of people a day across the state on, what, three or four rail lines. Exactly. Like, it just changes everything. It just changes everything. So I thought that was pretty interesting because it's like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm I'm excited for what Florida has in store for the future because we're so underdeveloped. Like, there's just so much potential in what we can do. Well, even you know um, it, when uh, Mom and I were were going to um, Home Depot uh, to look for the tiles for the front of the mm -hmm. uh, for the living room, we were even saying. That doesn't make sense to build more roads because you build more roads, there's more cars. You're just inviting more traffic. It, exactly. It and doesn't alleviate traffic. It doesn't. Traffic and, and just catches up. Exactly. And right. I think and I think that's what and I think that's what they think is helping because everywhere you go, a six lane road is now becoming an eight lane road or a two a four lane road is now becoming a six lane road and it's like it's not helping because there's just more traffic. Miami and Boca Raton are the perfect uh, examples because you have what like six lane eight lane highways right, have highways above under like you even have the speed lane yeah, and it's, it's still it's backed still up in backed traffic up, yeah. yeah so that's that's what i'm saying so it doesn't matter they think building more roads is going to alleviate the the the, the, no. the traffic buildup but it's not you're just inviting more traffic. exactly that's so it. like prime example look at with 82 after the first what year two years mm -hmm. people were flying People were flying, like even that turn lane and that interchange, that yeah. new interchange that they have at the the intersection. Mm -hmm. Like before, you could take that double left turn lane. It, there was two lights, so you take the first left turn, and then there's a light to go on to Daniels. the secondary left turn. The yeah. secondary left turn. Before they would both be green, and everyone would, would make it through. Now, even there's even traffic getting backed up in that secondary lane. Exactly. And, and they shorten the timer on the light. So yeah, on the people. on the first light that, mm -hmm. that you would turn into because the secondary light and there's a delay on the secondary light. Right. So if you're not even, if you're in, in, in the middle of the road, then the then traffic's mm -hmm. going to impede on you. So that's facts. but that's that facts. yeah, that's a, that's amazing. I, I can't wait to see that. And you said 2025, right? 2025 is when everything's about to pop off. Right? Yeah. Now we're even hearing things about uh, the cyber truck starting production and we still haven't even gotten a look at it this fall oh yeah i think uh elon had an investor investors meeting investors uh what do you call it conference there we go investors conference and i guess he had a more serious tone to it um because you know all of his events are usually like you know like uh like like tech nerds and you mm -hmm. know throw parties and do gimmicks and gags and but this like one that. was serious this one was actually serious it was kind of weird because he was talking about the whole tesla bot and the ai behind it and he continuously has to keep reiterating that tesla is not a car company we are a robotics company and they're trying to develop real world interface ai so not ai that is programmed to interact with the world it's an AI that experiences the world and then teaches itself how to interact with it. Mm. So essentially, we're gonna get um, well, you already transformer Teslas. You already seen it in 
in the Teslas with the FS. I hate you. <laughs> Sensational. You just got it. Quang 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 quang. Uh, I say if we're a robotics company, that means the Tesla's That's there. Tough, we but the Tesla get... understands its role. Yeah, get in the garage. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it understands its original Oh, uh, shit. Go to the garage. Oh, uh, shit, I love it. Go Literally, you have to go to the garage so mm-hmm. you can charge. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But uh, pretty much the the AI that they're using on their full self driving mm-hmm. uh, in Tesla is also what's being used in their whole Tesla bot, and they and he kind of went over details of like you know how the development and production of the Tesla bot is coming along and how he had to actually like his teams had to actually manufacture certain parts. Uh-huh. Prime example like actuators for specifically for joints and 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 like movement. In robotics, you. but no matter where he went, anywhere in the world, there wasn't like no one was producing these parts. So that's an entire market in itself. That, so he started doing that. You see what I'm saying? That's, I got you. That's you know. And one thing that was pretty crazy. I, I'm pretty sure they were pre-programmed for these movements, but he actually kind of showed you a demo of like it was three or four robots in a room, like in an in an assembly room, and one robot is grabbing the part, walking over to the next robot. The next robot grabs the part, inserts it on the on the skeleton of the robot that they're building. Yeah. Then it grabs the drill and it starts drilling the arms. So robots building, building robots, robots essentially. Robots. Yep. Okay, all right. So we're actually getting there. Yep. So basically, the vision of iRobot that was shown. It's always been iRobot. It's always, <laughs> always. It, 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 it's, it's just always been Elon didn't have a name, you know. Right. It's always been so robot. so Vicky's coming soon. Just be prepared. Oh uh, uh, man, Vicky's uh, v- coming Vicky's soon. Vicky's a long ways away. We're a long ways away from that. That's what we keep saying, Jeff. Nah, we're a long ways away from that. Nah. We don't have the technology that we don't have the hardware infrastructure. I'll keep that. an open mind. No, you can keep an open mind. I'm just telling you, like for us to achieve AGI, you would need quantum computing. Which we have. Yeah. Okay. The size of a fucking car. Hey, it's getting smaller and smaller yeah, every day. Not anytime soon. <laughs> Come on. Let's be for real. Let's be realist. I would love to dream that 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 quantum computing is like, bam, we got it. Nah, we right now we're only maxing what? I, I couldn't even give you an exact number. But it's crazy because if you look at from uh, 2013 to 2023... We have moved exponentially. Right. So from 2023 to 2033, how do you know it won't be the same? You, you know, because it, it, none of these systems have gone on the market. None of these systems are available to the market. The, these are all just proof of concept. And you don't believe in the next five years that? Can no, happen. no, no. Right, but we have to see what the market does. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, you could build the cure for anything, but... Oh, yeah, just like is, HIV. Yeah, the market is going to decide whether it continues and advances and da-da-da. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, of course, you have investors, private investors, hedge funds, you know, politicians, laws, and shit like that, that that go into that. But in terms of, like, artificial general intelligence, that's not any type of That's nowhere. We're gonna, remember I told you, the... the First or the second stage of AI is gimmicks. That's it. That's it. It's just going to be in everything you own. That's it. It's already in everything we own. I guess, yeah. You could Literally, see. what did our uh, HP laptop do the other day? Give itself an update to add the new... Oh, the Bing Yeah, the Bing, the Bing feature of, the, of their AI. The AI, the Bing feature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could activate it or not. Yeah, man. So it's just stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start offering subscriptions for it. They're gonna offer it free to everyone. Just like Chat GBT. Word, I guess. It's yeah. free. It's free right, right now. It's free right now. Everybody has profiles, but mm-hmm. soon they're gonna start making you pay for certain accesses that other people don't have. It's just like um, I found out that because um, one of my stock clerks mm-hmm. at the job he drives a Tesla. 
Right. And I said, How's the how how does this how goes the self driving? He's like, Oh, that's a subscription. That's something Right, you, yeah, now it's a subscription. Yeah, he says you have to pay two hundred extra dollars a month just for that. So unless you do that I say even if you get the like the premium car, he's like, Yep, it's two hundred extra dollars a month just so you can have the self driving. What is it? He I, says it'll keep it in your keep you in your lane, but that's about it. It won't drive for you like most like some people that right. you'll see sleep. Well, because so they made it free and people abuse it. Ah, uh, but then you get again. You did say everything is going to become. Yeah, a everything's going to be a subscription. Yeah, everything has a subscription, bro. Like, come on, rent, corporate landlords, rent, mm-hmm. Twitter, social media. Yep. Even you for know. a blue check mark, you yeah. got to pay a monthly price for if you access want. for yeah. security for protection, bro. Security cameras, subscription. Mm-hmm. Yeah, saying? because if you if you had the the original blink, right, um, you're fine. They don't add you to the subscription. It's like right. your grandfather. Grandfather then, right. So for me, when I got the blink, when I moved into my house uh, three years ago, there was no subscription. And then I got an update that says you oh, you have a 30 day trial before you have to start paying mm-hmm. ten dollars a month. Mm-hmm. And then the subscription is memory cloud space. Right. So it will not record it for you if you do not pay ten dollars a month. For right. All the cameras. Right. That's why a lot of these companies, even with their smartphones and their devices, they all have their own cloud service. Exactly. In, exactly. In which you yeah. Like for. now, I'm paying for memory for for what? Google. For two two hundred gigs of memory, it's like two ninety nine. Right. Yeah. So now, so now your phone, the phone that gave you what sixteen gigs mm-hmm. or twenty gigs of mm-hmm. regular. Eight gigs is taken starting up the phone, so you're only left with another eight. And yeah. then after that's filled up, it's either you pay for more cloud space or keep deleting the photos that you want to keep. Or even movie theaters even, now. Yeah. Hey, subscription. Watch unlimited movies all year for blah blah blah. For twenty twenty bucks a month. A month. Uh, movie a day. Right. So, I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you know, everything is just going to be subscription based. It's but you just... saw this coming. You saw this coming. Oh, word. Absolutely. That's the crazy thing. That's easy money. Because you literally say everything is going to be a subscription base, and now they're starting to make everything a subscription base. You just see how, just just understand systems. You know what I'm saying? It's just recognizing patterns, systems, and then using past, you know, examples to kind of predict, have a generalized prediction of, Mm -hmm. you know, the possible outcomes. Not everything I say is going to happen verbatim. You know what I'm saying? Of course, but I mean, you're close to it. You know, so yeah, man, that's gonna that's gonna be pretty weird. That we're gonna become a metropolis, a megalopolis, a megalopolis. Mm-hmm. Disney's Doug. Did they live in a megalopolis? Bye bye megalopolis. <laughs> I thought that was uh, the Simpsons. No, that was Doug when he would draw Quail Man. Really? Yep. Oh, because Quail Man was protecting. Yeah, Megalopolis. Megalopolis. Yes. Oh, so they just. <laughs> yeah, remember when the dam was about to break? They were singing "Bye Bye Megalopolis." That's literally the only thing I'm. It's like unlocked memory. That's pretty dope. Yeah, but like my whole thing, like with the the rest of the Brightline mm-hmm. thing, um, of course, like I believe the last area to really be fully developed would be southwest florida yeah because they're still building but so we're in much. a prime position mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying because we aren't fully developed you, it's gonna be insane you just made me have a brain fart okay so um barb she went to a town hall meeting because mm-hmm. they're discussing what they're going to do from now to 2025 mm-hmm. or the future and she was basically telling me how they talked about they're making corkscrew four lanes mm-hmm. all the way through 82 mm-hmm. They're going to connect the Lico. A corridor, a corridor connecting 82 to the Lico. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And we're getting a Cheesecake Factory. So we don't have to drive all the way to exit 105. Bro, we got a Starbucks in this backwater-ass place. What the fuck? No, Lee, Count- Lee County's getting the Cheesecake Factory. That's fire. Because you know there's only one, and in- that's all the way in Naples, all the way to exit. That's wild. Yeah, they're hey, finally, man. finally getting you- we seen the beach. Yeah. You seen? The yeah, beach? yeah, that was insane. Like they are building so fast; it's not even They're funny. They're just doing and, and, so much. Yeah, so that's fast. why like everyone's talking about the housing market, but Lee County is its own bubble. Southwest Florida is its own bubble. Yes, 
And that's what she said too. She's like, it, it's its own bubble. It's its so own she's bubble. like, she's like, yeah, I just went to a town hall for shits and giggles just to see what's going on and, and what's going to be built and all that stuff like that. And literally everything she was naming is everything that we can see mm -hmm. that's happening that's around happening. us right now. Right. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that because when she told me that, I'm like, damn, really? Another one? We're finally getting one right. in, in Lee County. It's like we seen everything take so long and then we blinked and it's just like it's going fast it's moving everything fast. is just well even crazy. even lehigh even yeah. lehigh has updated its uh residency it was 114,000 now, now it's 126 remember 200. we're expected to be 250 yeah by 2025 it's 126 257 now that's, that's how many crazy. people have moved down here that's and crazy. they're still building and they're still building that's the crazy thing they're still building mm -hmm. bro go up more I, I, more is in the middle of nowhere and you go down that stretch of road, and it's just like twenty new construction. Yep, yeah, I agree. And now they're laying down water main lines for city water. They're mm -hmm. trying to transition everyone out of well water. You know what I'm saying? And that's good, especially for that central hub on Joel and Leland. Yeah, um, that's where they're really going to start building a lot of commercial property building and properties and stuff. Yeah, like that. they're also building an apartment complex right next to. Um, what's the detour? The country club. The country club, yeah. They've been in a, in a, a, a condo complex near the country club. That's crazy. So. Hey, man. It's crazy, man. The development and growth is amazing. We saw here when it was gravel roads and... Trees. And trees, bro. Still a shit ton of trees, but it's coming gravel less and less every day. And yeah. trees, bro. That's crazy. And sometimes the garbage pick missed your pickup too. Yeah, yeah, because there was so much. There was so much. Well, there was the houses were so sparse. There weren't a lot of houses. So they weren't even gonna. They weren't even them. like entertaining to go down the street. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the garbage would be on your curb for like two weeks. Unless you called. Unless you called them and be yeah. like, "Hey, I live down here," and then they have to come down your shitty ass road. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. now every every freaking street sign has a light above it. No, you're right. All you're roads right. are illuminated. All roads are paved. Redredge the canals. Like new park expansion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Commercial park, Savannah Lakes community. It's coming soon. Yeah, you know what I'm they saying? already got the sign up and everything. No, you... oh, and I was driving down 75, and they already took. You know how the Hurricane destroyed the mm -hmm. Gulf Coast Giants sign. They already right. started breaking it down and rebuilding it again. And rebuilding it. Yeah, so they're finally taking care of that. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot, yeah. a so, lot. Whew. Yeah, man. That's 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 interesting. That's interesting. But I hope it gets to a point where it's like... I don't know, because I feel like if you have property out here, you could kind of ride that wave and then... You know, if it gets too expensive for you, you just leave. Sell your, sell your crib and sell your million dollar home and go. And somewhere. rent for life. Yeah, I mean, but and rent for I life. look at it this way: you, you, you always have your rural areas, but somebody's always looking for a rural area to build in. So it doesn't matter. Like this is what Barb told me. Barb said she left New York and went to Connecticut. Because it was quiet. Mm -hmm. Then they started building in Connecticut. So she left Connecticut and came to Florida because there was nothing out here. There wasn't shit Zero. out here. Zero. Nothing. Like she said, she's lived in Estero most of her life and there was nothing was, out here. It was just swamp. And now, and it's, trees, just, right. and now it's just packed and covered. And it's like, now she's like, and she was jokingly saying, now where can I fucking go to, to, <laughs> to live in the quiet? I'm like, Barb, if you really think about it, you can't really go anywhere because everywhere quiet is where they're going to try to build. Well, go inland because they're building from the coast inward. I got you. So go to like Arcadia or some shit. Well, most of that is like farmland and ranches and private property. Is, is that what she wants though? That's the question. Well, most of those guys are the ones selling. Yeah, look at Babcock Ranch. Look at yeah. Babcock at ranch with their autonomous autonomous bus it's driving. It's like green every, city. Every it's solar panel, yeah. seventeen fields of solar panels. Every mm -hmm. house has solar panel roofs mm -hmm. with a solar panel box, and they yeah. all have Teslas. All and have Teslas. Yep, and it's like okay, it's like a green town. Yep. A green. I guess they want to become a green town. Uh, that's what they're trying and to they do. Essentially, become a green city. Mm -hmm. But it's like you have that potential in Florida because so much of it is just like underdeveloped. 
You see what I'm saying? Yep, I agree. And it's culturally diverse because everyone comes from every state to and come it's down culturally here. Culturally diverse. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you don't got to deal with stringent ordinances and laws and shit because. Except you know, for Cape Coral. Biggest HOA ever. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Come live in East LA. That's tough. Can they even like they can their, their canals have boat access, right? Not really. No, I don't think so. No. Cuz I think the last time I went to one of my boys in cave, the only thing you could really ride down there was like a canoe, not a canoe, a raft or a paddleboard. Ah, okay. So something small. Mhm. Something like that. Yeah, man. What do you think about this stuff, man? Um, I mean, it's 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 crazy because again, too, we came here oh seven. Uh, I was still in high school. You were in middle school. Uh, Julie was still in elementary. Great. Yeah. Yeah, and and um, Jeffy just graduated, but it's like it was literally nothing but woods. We we would barely be able to get internet where we were at when we we're at mom's. And now the two megabits. And the two megabits. <laughs> and now she has two, two megabits two, a second. Now yeah. she, yeah, has giga. Now she has giga, giga fiber. Right. She has uh, one house being built in the corner of her street right. after seventeen years or twenty years, and then she yeah. has another one right next to her mm-hmm. being built. Built a school right in her neighborhood. Yep, right in her neighborhood. So big brand. New it, school. It's amazing seeing the changes because it's like. You're used to the quiet norm so long that it, it's it's weird and different now that they're going to expand and, and make it grow. But you're here to see it develop. It's not like you moved in and it was already there. Mm-hmm. It's not like you go to Miami, Orlando, Tallahassee or any of those major cities, uh, um, New Jersey, New York, California. Mm-hmm. That All those are already built. So it's mm-hmm. not like you're going in and watching it develop. You were here before the storm came. It's literally, you're literally living in the storm and watching it after it passes. Yeah. So, it's amazing. And one Basically. one good marker that so many people are moving here. One, the crime went down because they imp- like implemented more security. Yep. Because they re- Yeah, every night that. you see helicopters flying in. But, the yeah, because they have drones and helicopters that, because, you know, Lee County Sheriff's Office invested in a whole bunch of high-tech shit. Oh, yeah. So... Take my money, just you know keep me safe. Um, so that's a good that's that's their prerogative. You know, that's that's a good thing. Um But another thing that you realize there's a lot of people here. Mm-hmm. Car accidents have skyrocketed. Yes. They have skyrocketed. And insurance rates have also gone mm-hmm. up too because nobody can fucking drive. Dude, how many like how every many, day. Even every today on seventy five. They on seventy five. I was coming home. And no, I just mean in Lehigh. Oh, in Lehigh, oh yeah, period. In yeah. Lehigh, period. They need to start putting lights. Yeah, where? Everywhere. <laughs> every five feet, man. Every, every street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll never where? make it home. Uh, Might as well be like the stop signs on Thirteenth uh, Street. That's crazy. Yep. All you see is red. <laughs> All you see is red. You drive ten feet. Stop. Uh, ten feet. Stop. Man, yep. That's if crazy. you want to take it, take it. But that's crazy. <laughs> Remember, you and mom did it once, and you Dude, said never again. I was like, what are we doing? Oh uh, shit! It took us nope. twenty minutes to get home. Twenty minutes to get home. <laughs> out of rain. Whose idea was that? What? Out of blue through all them stop signs. Who's that? Yeah, right. But the other roads are not. They don't have any stop signs. It's Every like, other road, yeah, is a throughway. Is like a. That's why you gotta be careful with mm-hmm. that. Yeah. That's why you can't have any high speed chases out here. Nah, especially if you don't know Lehigh. If you because don't know Lehigh, you if you hit a dead end, then it's like you're gonna oh, hit shit. dead ends, canals. Yep, that's it. De- no dead end, stop sign, canal. And half of them don't say uh, dead end on their on the nope. signs. So if you go down the street and you think it's not a dead how end, how many times they tried to have a high speed chase in Lehigh? They got caught in five minutes because they went because they dead just end. thought, yeah, I'm just gonna take any 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 back road. Any back they can't <laughs> catch me. <clears throat> Bruh. Nobody's gonna get nope. me. Nope. But ended up getting caught. Hell no. Hell no. But yeah. Yeah, you see car accidents go up and shit like that. So it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's cool to see, but I know it comes with the bullshit, you feel me? Yeah. That's that's more toes to step on. 
Well, not just that too. Um, insurance goes up because remember when I called after my insurance went up, they're like, "Oh, it's nothing you did. It's just there's more car accidents. There's nothing we can do about it." And your only option is to cancel your policy and restart it over again just to get that that first six months for one sixty, and then after that it goes. They don't want y'all to negotiate y'all shit. No, they're like, "You got the maximum discount, and that's it." That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-mm. You know how it is. Mm-mm. I just hope... I can't wait for that park to be done. Get an amphitheater, bro? Bro. Hopefully they do plays and all mm-hmm. that stuff like that. Dude, I buy, I buy tickets all the and time. And then we'll have a green bus station. An electric bus station right outside the park. A bus depot. That's gonna be nice. That'll take you into Fort Myers and stuff like that. And then you could do your thing. I think that will run to... Like you said, I think the goal is to get more people out of vehicles and into transportation. That's the point. Like, yeah, I, I never just understood to... the whole millions of cars. Like, you go to... You see people's houses out here. And it's just like five cars in the driveway, six cars in the driveway. It's like, damn. Hmm. You know, like... That's a lot of insurance. And That's a lot of insurance. Uh, That's a lot of unnecessary, like, just... Guzzling. Expenses. Imagine how much money a whole household could save if everyone just took the train or just took public transport. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Because a lot of people up north do that. They'll park their car. All right. Well, their cost of living is it's stupid. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it is. It's, it's fucking insane. But... Right. It just imagine that with the cost of living down here. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that. I don't know. And it would it would boom the economy. It would just bring growth. It would just bring growth, period. Get a year train pass, and then after that. Because you're no longer, you're unlocking, like, where people can work. Yeah. Like, if I work in Orlando, I can bring my money to Lee County. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and another thing too. Let's say you're taking a, a family vacation, right? You literally just pack your suitcase. You don't have to worry about the gas, your car, finding the spot, all that stuff like that. Right. It just stops in front of the theme park. You you go to your right. hotel, yeah. All that stuff like that, and then after that, when you leave and go home, it's literally what Bro, an hour and a half drive home. You don't even need to get a hotel. You just go do what you need to do, and go home. You're right. You're Go right. Home. Enjoy your day, and then take Enjoy the your whole take the day train back. And it's and only take the train back based off the speed. Was it like an hour and a half back? Yeah, it's an hour and two, a half three to hours. two hours max. Yeah, two hours max. And that's if there's some bullshit happening. But it's literally a straight shot because it's gonna get its own its own railway. Yeah, they built their own tracks. That all that track is them. All that track is privately owned by them. They built all that new track. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, I don't know, man. It just changes everything. It's a very positive outlook on how we will, like, if I got a boy that lives in Orlando or my boy that lives in Tampa. Hop on the train and go see Hop on the train. I'm going to go visit you. Mm -hmm. You Oh, I'll see you this weekend? Yeah. See you this weekend. Bam. Hop on the train. Oh, we're going to go see the, imagine going to see a Bucks game one day and then go going to see a Dolphins game the next day. That's true. All you got to do is hop on the train. And then see a Jags game the other day. Hop on the train. Or watch an Orlando Magic game. Hop on the train. Man. Man. What are you sacrificing? What? Noise? Train noise? But you hear cars every day. Yeah. Planes every day. Planes every day. Honking. Car accidents. Right. Planes every day. That's what you're going to complain about. The noise. You tripping. And what? Car accidents? Well, that's up to the individual to not try to bypass the crossing guards. Well, they're going to eat, be eaten. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Brightline is taking up the, the responsibility of building reinforced crossings, mm-hmm. railroad crossings. But it's up to the individual to not be an idiot and wait for the train to pass. I can make it. You know what I'm <laughs> it says Florida, Jeff. I can make it. Man. And then they're like, oh, I'm going to be late for work. Take the train. Yeah. Boom. You won't be stuck in traffic. You won't be stuck in traffic. Literally, Take because it's train. a straight shot. Yeah. Take the train. There's there's some. 
There's no backed up on 75 or 95 mm. or I-95. There's no car accidents. You don't got to worry There's about no, sun pass. No sun pass, no delays, no none of, none of that. None of that. They're literally trying to get people off the Because the tracks have passenger train priority. Mm-hmm. They made deals with uh, uh, certain portions of the track they don't own with companies and with the state to give their trains priority. Mm-hmm. So they don't have to deal with delay. Unlike Amtrak, which owns less than 3% of the tracks that they run. You know what I'm saying? They're always going to have delays. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I don't know, man. I think it's a smart idea. Brightline made a really great investment. Yeah. And if it works out here, they're going to, of course, they're going to take it out west and they'll try to experiment. Brightline west. Yeah. They'll try to experiment with other metropolitan areas, connecting other metropolitan areas, which will be nice. Because I always believed, you know, the only way, like the age of the government funding infrastructure died years ago. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the whole privatized infrastructure, it just makes sense. It just makes more sense. Because there's not a lot of red tape. There's not a lot of bureaucracy. They don't have to vote on bills and pass laws and shit. They can operate within the, 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 the structure of a corporation. And get shit done easier. Everything's more streamlined. All their engineers are owned. All their architects are owned. All their construction workers are owned or mm-hmm. contracted. And it all goes through them. And shit just happens faster. And more efficient and more convenient. You know? Just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So what else are you looking forward to, man? Me? Yeah. Vacation. That's around the corner, ain't it? Yep. Sensational. That's around the corner. Yep, Boy, I got, I got on, one more day of work. We've been on autopilot. Bro. Oh, wait, your vacation starts Saturday? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I usually I usually have the day, Saturday off and then... What is it, Saturday to next Saturday? Yep, I'm on, I don't, so I don't work till next Sunday. Oh, I feel that. Those so, are the following. It's the following Sunday, yeah. So, I can't wait for that. But, of course, vacation ain't vacation for me. So it's work. more work. Yeah. <laughs> it's free time to do more work. Exactly. <laughs> Basically. To do biz- my business. My business. Exactly. So, but I, I know we are doing, what are we doing? Poetry night on Monday. Word. So that's going to be different because um, never been to a, a, a poetry, what do you call it? A, po- a state poetry stage type thing. Yeah. It's open mic. And then we're doing a museum Tuesday or Wednesday. We are. So... Is it, oh no! Wait! No! 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 That's that's Javon. That's at night though, not in the morning. That is at night. Yeah, no, that's right. And no, yeah. So, mm. recording with Javon. You record. We're recording with. Javon. It could be Thursday. We got. We, we got to look at the calendar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting there guessing right now. We got too many things going on. <laughs> no, Tuesday's uh, the sports edition. Mm-hmm. Thursday's Javon. Wednesday's the music video. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, in the morning Tuesday, we're going to a museum because we're just going to take a drive Word. and find a museum that's in Southwest Florida just to check it out, check it out, man. See, see what For the shits and giggles. Yep. Yep. Bring the cameras, all that stuff like that. Do a couple vlogs. You know how it goes. Word. Um, no, but yeah. So the entire vacation is literally just not vacationing. It's kind of just trying to bum without the the bum but Without of course actually bumming yeah but of course the gym is going to be involved in that too every week every day so that's going to be exciting because i'm actually not just do three days or two days i'll be able to do get every day in. every day in, except for saturday and sunday i'm a bum or, <laughs> <laughs> or try to oh, or try please. to I'm, dead. I'm a bum i'm dead i'm dead as hell but no yeah so um, I'm looking forward to that, and I know you are off Monday, Monday of uh, next week. You requested that day. Mm-hmm. I are you ready? Are you ready for uh, the wedding? That's in two weeks, right? Yeah, you gotta mentally prepare yourself, though. You know. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> wake up that day, and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. What time does it start? I think 5 or 6 p.m. Five, I gotta six look p.m. at that thing again. So, it says 5 on the invitation, but they really mean 8. 
So they're telling you guys Stop five. They're, tell, they're telling you guys five because they know they you guys are gonna show up at eight. Oh, <laughs> so it's really eight, but they say five because they know you're gonna show up at eight. I got you, man. That makes sense. Haitians always being late on the scene. <laughs> oh man! Even when we do something with Skylar or somebody else, they're gonna be like, "Yep, it ain't it ain't the Jeff brothers if they're not late." Nah, I so. Just, I just got to show up late. You know what I'm saying? I got to yeah. be the last person. So that's going to be interesting. Um, you got to save the energy for the for the end. Yeah, but uh, that's that's kind of what I'm looking forward to um, in that sense. But I know we were having a, uh, a, a small talk discussion earlier, and we don't have to bring up any names, but it's just um, just giving people advice in general. Mm -hmm. um, and... And the, the 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 not the structure of it, but you know how when you give uh, people advice and they come back to you for that advice, and I know you're giving me some advice on that mm -hmm. by saying um, you should limit your return rate. There you go. <laughs> I didn't know how to structure it but. because um, that's something I can say that I I find myself doing sometimes because you know the whole I want to help but you're Baby, not listening. Babysitting. Nigga, yeah, basically. Right? And 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 you even said yourself it's like that's that's what they want. They want a babysitter and I've learned that I'm going to give it to you the first time and I'm going to say it to you the second time and then that's it. Soon it's just going to be once. I'm, I'm literally working to that point. But after that, if they come to me for that said advice, I would literally say to you, you like you said, you got to love yourself. Love yourself. Figure it out. Yeah, love you yourself. got to figure it out because you got to love yourself. Yeah. Because I'll give you one piece of advice. Use that to epiphanize a solution. You see what I'm saying? I can't. You can't keep coming back to me and expect me to help you out every single time you hit a roadblock. Figure it out. Use the same thought process that you had when I gave you that piece of advice mm -hmm. and apply it. You know what I'm saying? Like, critically think. Don't just be, oh, man, I'm just, shit's fucking up again. <laughs> Jeff, what do I do now? No. <laughs> no. What the uh, fuck? No. No. Because what that does, that just form like, now it's an obligation now. Yeah. And you got to be like, oh, man, I, I got to help this person again. I got to give this person advice again. I got to I gotta hold your hand again. Yeah. I got to make you see the picture. I got to, there's the, there it is. You know, there's the answer the whole time. And it's just like, no, man. Like, and then you get nothing in return. Like, what advice are you going to give me? Yeah, yeah, you get nothing. You know because what Like, what inquiry are you going to give me today? It's a, What's something interesting that you're gonna give tell me that that's gonna make me well stop provoking yeah like it doesn't have to be thought provoking yeah. but it's like you know give me some knowledge or some shit you know what i'm saying yeah why do i have to keep spitting it on my end yeah why do i gotta keep giving you all the advice it's like a, it's like a give and take like i had to work to figure this shit out mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i'll help you out but you gotta want to help yourself out you gotta want to do shit too mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and, and that's what I kind of see. Like, I'm willing to help you out. Like, if I really see you're trying and you're thinking about what I'm telling you, and then the next time you come and ask for advice and I ask you what you did, and you tell me you... And then you reword it, but you essentially did the same thing after I gave you the advice yeah. to try something else, you know, specifically. Then there's no point in... Like, why are we even having this conversation? Love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Why are we even having this? Conversation? Well, I like how you, I like how you uh, use the analogy, like step outside yourself, analyze the entire situation, look at it right. from both perspectives, and then try to make a, a, a um, try to come to a conclusion with it. Don't just put it in one ear, it goes out the other, you do the complete opposite, and then come back and get right. upset because it didn't work out for you. Right. I like that. And... and a lot of people are afraid to, to think of the worst, you know, like, reasons for why a situation is happening to them. It's like, it's never me. It's not me. It can't be me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It must be how they're taking whatever I'm doing. They're interpreting whatever I'm doing the wrong way. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and and that's where you you end up losing. You know, because you're failing to realize, okay, there's a reason why they're not taking what I'm saying the right way. Yeah. Or doing the right way. What am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then look at, like, look at yourself, you know? Like, or communicate with them. Talk to them. Talk to that person. Like, be honest. You know, talk to that person. What about me? Or what am I doing? What am I saying? That's getting me in this situation, mm -hmm. you know, or ask questions. It doesn't even have to be like within relationships. It could just be within problem solving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How am I tackling this problem the wrong way that keeps giving me the same solution? The same result. The same result. Like insanity. <laughs> and you're saying uh, you're talking about the person themselves or them saying that to you no, know, the person themselves. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's like kind of like the thought process. Like, if I give you a simple piece of advice and then you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you got to look, be introspective. You know, just be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Jeff said X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. How can I apply mm -hmm. that? You see what I'm saying? How can I take myself or put myself in the equation a lot of people take themselves out of the equation mm -hmm. how can i put myself in the equation you know where it's like okay maybe it's something i'm doing or my the way i i guess attack the problem or interpret certain things i got you or something that i'm not seeing you know or something i'm, I'm purposefully not seeing or choosing not to see because I don't want that, the reason to be, oh, it's me causing my own issues and roadblocks and yeah. shit like that. So it's just stuff like that. If if at the end of the day, you, you see that n you aren't responsible for anything in any situation, uh, then there's no point in me giving you advice. I got you. Because somewhere along the road, you're doing something. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And even leaving the situation altogether, not leaving the situation altogether, is you doing something. You see what I'm saying? Because you, if you have done everything you can to get past an issue and it's not working, it's still your choice to stay or go. Well, that's true. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's still your choice to stay or go. And, yeah. and like you said, time is something that you don't get back. So you can't. Yeah, keep, that's with anything. Yeah, so you can't. Like, well, you but you can't keep wasting it on something you're trying to fix that you know can't be fixed. Or is good for a moment, is good for a moment, and then and then um, goes back to the same, goes back to the same thing again. Right, because everyone wants to feel good and have all the answers. Exactly. You know, but without working. I want to feel good without working. I want the answers without working. That's like, I help you out, but you gotta want to work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta want to work. That's tough. Mm -hmm. That's tough, sir. Sensational. <laughs> Spitting bars. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, man. I just talk to talk. Right? Is that what you think it is? Nah. Come on, Jeff. Shit you say makes sense. Every time you listen to you, what you say after we record, then you're going to be like, man, I actually said this. To okay. crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> I'm dead. You got anything you're looking forward to? Me? Yeah. No, I'm just taking it as it is. Bro. Uh -huh. I already know, like, I already got my calendar planned out. I'm just, hey, see, one day at a time. You see the vision. Yeah, one day at a so time. make it happen. I'll get to I'll get to a point where it's like, oh, man, I didn't realize I got to this point. And then you always remind me. And it's like, damn, when did that happen? And then yeah. it feels fake. It does. <laughs> it does. Like, every, every milestone, yeah. accomplishment, every step forward. Um, direction that we're going, things that are being accomplished. Right. It feels fake. It feels fake. Yeah, it does. 
It does. But not saying that the people who listen to us are fake. No, no, no. no, no. no. It's just like I don't know. I don't know. I thought I'd be like more tweaky. I don't know. Like excited, giggling like a little yeah, girl. Yeah, I don't know. It just you're you're a stoic person, sir. You're grounded. What? <laughs> Sensational. What? <laughs> grounded, bro. My head is in space. Now. Yeah. Well, you're doing a very good job of not making it look space. like it's in space. Mm. But um. Any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. Live for your die hard. I might have me a bowl of rice after this. <laughs> With bread fruit sausage. That's a least. final thought. Stop. A bowl of rice. That sounds delicious. Nice bowl of rice. Yeah. Bowl of rice that I made. Yeah. I made the rice. Yeah, he did. It is delicious, Stop guys. Playing, boy, they call me Chef Boyardee. And they have seasoning. Chef. Jeff. Chef Jeff Boyardee. Chef Jeff Boyardee. All right, man. Take us home, brother. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch our audio on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clip channel and our TikTok channel. So if you want to uh, click on our link, it'll take you to the full podcast and... Um, you can enjoy um, viewing our ugly mugs. Also, we have timestamps. So if you want to jump to a specific uh, portion of the video, you can go ahead and do that now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the description down below. And turn on your notification just to let you know when we're uploading our next either clips and or podcasts. Um, what else? Yes, we. Uh, I like to announce that we are doing the Triple T's uh, Sports Edition. Um, with uh, three special guests that are coming in. They're very sports uh, sports oriented. I'm not, of course, but my brother's going to be the main host of that. So we'll see what how that goes. And uh, that's going to be very, very interesting to listen to after it happens. But guys, I appreciate you always <coughs> for supporting us, putting us where we're at right now, and uh, continuing to listen to us, even though we do stupid things sometimes <laughs> but i appreciate you guys for joining us at the tabletop you have a good night day weekend and or evening thank you bye